Norman Baker was a charlatan and a notorious cancer quack. That's who Norman right. Baker was. It depends on how you define the economy. He had his own restaurant, he had his own gasoline station, but they were being brought here under false pretenses, so I don't know why you would want to claim that as an ec economic benefit. He was against big business, against big medicine, against big government. He was the champion of the common man, he claimed. There was a hearing held in Washington, D.C. by the uh, federal uh, uh, commissions that control that. He was accused of uh, using profane language on the radio. He was accused of making false statements on the radio. After their hearings, uh, several months later, the uh, federal government pulled his license and he was off the air. I am a cancer survivor. And my wife is also a cancer survivor. Fortunately, we were able to go to real doctors, not to Baker. It was proven to be a, a fraud. He was a cancer quack, and that's that's it. He he, he hooked up with a, uh, another swindler, Harry Hoxie, who claimed to be a doctor, and they re realized that they could tell people they could cure cancer. They would inject this worthless stuff into the bodies. Eventually, the person would die. The AMA, the American Medical Association, and Baker were at odds from the very beginning. Uh, the uh, AMA called him a charlatan, a cancer quack, and other things. At one point, uh, Baker filed a lawsuit uh, claiming liable, that the AMA was libeling him a trial was held in Davenport, Iowa, a jury, and the jury, it's a federal court in Davenport, the jury decided in favor of the AMA. Uh, Baker had no claim for libel. All right, there were real doctors and real research happening at the Baker Institution. What are your real thoughts on that? Your thoughts? I don't have any thoughts on that because uh, that, that's a statement. There were real doctors and real research. I, I, I don't know that that's true. What do you feel are some of Baker's positive contributions to our community? I've never heard of any positive contributions. He claimed he could cure cancer and he couldn't. He uh, was sentenced to four years in federal prison because of the operation that he ran at Eureka Springs, Missouri. The trial was held in 1940 in Little Rock, Arkansas. He appealed it. He appealed it all the way to the Supreme Court, and the courts kept denying it. They said that his claims were uh, false and that the cancer cure was a pure hoax. He spent four years, 1941 to 44, in the federal penitentiary at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. Is there any good we can make from showcasing his past? Like, what, what, what can this documentary help communicate in your opinion? Like, how, how can we make this a good, positive film for the community? I, I don't know if there's any way. In the story in the Muscatine Journal, you were quoted as saying you wanted him to be thought of the father of modern-day wellness. I disagree with that. And then in the conclusion of the story, you said that uh, there should be a bigger centric theme for uh, tourism, uh, a purple room at the new hotel, that sort of thing. And I, I just don't see the logic in that at all. He gave people false hope. Through his radio broadcast, he brought uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of people here thinking that he could cure cancer. Uh, he did not cure cancer. People died, and uh, 
as part of the expose, they, they found out that uh, when people died, they were carted away in the middle of the night and the deaths were not recorded with the county recorder. There were no death certificates. They were just taken away. And th that was one of the things that, that got him run out. As he returned after he'd been in prison, uh, there was a year or so, but he, he came back to Iowa in 1946. He applied with the state. He wanted to open a Baker Research Foundation and several nonprofit hospitals. His request was denied by the state and he left. I see no uh, purpose <coughs> in the uh, documentary because uh, it, it's, it's said in the application, uh, Laura was kind enough to share with me the application to Humanities Iowa. It says that uh, first paragraph, Norman was known for the quality of excitement of his inventions, including claphones, radio stations, and finding a cure for cancer with his magical ways. Even though he might have been considered a crook and he ended up in jail for some of his adventures. Uh, adventures is a quaint word to use for Norman Baker. I think the whole series is misnamed. It's called Man in Purple. The, the series should be titled Looking for a Cancer Quack Last Seen Driving a Purple Car. <laughs> That'd be a better title. That might be it. It's kind of long. <laughs>